on the inverter. The inverter will automatically enter the standby mode. All parameters can be set through the LCD screen, and most of them are suggested to set in the standby mode. Although all setting values of the parameters are different, the operation methods are almost the same. Take the battery parameter setting as an example. Long press the enter button for 3 seconds to enter the setting mode. Press up or down button to select the setting programs. If you select 30, you will enter the battery type setting program. Then show press the enter button to enter the parameter setting for your battery type. Press the up or down button to modify the parameters. Press the enter button to confirm the modification. When the LCD displays PA, it means the parameters are set successfully. Otherwise, it will display FA indicating the setting is failed. Next, I'm gonna show you more examples about the parameter setting. For more settings, please refer to the user menu for more details. Now let's come to the ACM parameter setting. Select 10 to enter the ACM source selection program. Then modify the parameter. One presents the generator. Now the parameters are set successfully. Select 11 to enter the power assist program. And then set the charging current according to the power of your generator. Now the parameters are set successfully. Select 12 to enter the working mode selection program. Then select or modify the parameter. Zero presents the ACM first working mode. Three presents the UBA control SOG control mode. Confirm the setting. Now the parameters are set successfully. To enter the echo mode, you need to set it on the status interface, not on the setting interface or the port query interface. Then press and hold up and down button at the same time until the echo icon lights up to enter the echo mode. To exit the echo mode, just simply press and hold up and down button at the same time until the echo icon disappears to exit the echo mode. to query the LCD software version. The version will be shown on the right side. Select 81 to query the inverter firmware version. When an error occurs, you can easily query the error through the LCD screen. Press the ESC button. A full code will appear. Refer to the user menu, you will know what the fault is and a solution to solve the problem.